things last year, and how's it feel to be on the cusp now, finally, of uh, the bowl game? It's great. It's great to be in game week. Uh, so this is officially like a Monday practice for us, and our kids are excited. You know, we're watching all these great bowl games that are on, seeing the great players and the great plays that are being made, and it's just exciting to be a part of the bowl season, and we're really looking forward to this week. With all the game film you've watched so far in Ohio as well as just the MAC conference, what do you notice that's specific about the MAC brand of football? It's different. It's 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 kind of solid old school, physical uh, football, a uh, little different style than than we play in our conference, and that's what's great about bowl games is that it's contrasting styles. It's people from di different regions and parts of the country, um, and we're excited. You know, we we want to go show uh, our Nevada brand of football. Uh, we want to represent the state and the university and and uh, in a great way, and we're really excited to do that. Coach, do you, do you ever sometimes think back to like the first practice you had here, that sort of thing? I mean, you guys yeah. just kind of wrapped it up today. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, I haven't thought about that for a while, but yeah, it's it's. Um, you know, our kids kind of know what to expect. Our, ki our kids know what what we're looking for, and we we set the standards and expectations for what we do, and. Um, you know, we just want to go represent our brand of football. We work really hard to play a certain way. Um, we want to be physical. We want to play with great fundamentals and great effort. And um, that's what we want to do uh, this Friday. And uh, we're playing a great team from the MAC conference, uh, very well coached, experienced coaching staff. And we want to go out there and play our best game of the year. Coach, how have you guys been adjusting with the new defensive coordinator, a couple of defensive assistants? I think our guys have done a great job. Our kids are really responding. Um, you know, we brought in some veteran coaches. I've known Coach Sears for a long time. He's been a head coach. He's been a coordinator at many schools. Um, and Josh Brown's been a coordinator for eight years at Cal Poly. Um, and, and John Landwehr is familiar with our system. So our kids have jumped on. They're practicing with great effort and energy. Um, we're give, giving a lot of young players a chance to play. And so there's a whole different energy out here at practice. Um, we're practicing like a professional team. So we're, we're servicing each other. And that's been brought a lot of accountability and energy to practice. So it's been fun. I really like the style of practice. And I love the way the new coaches have just jumped in. and. All they're doing is trying to help these kids win a game, and, and I appreciate that. Who are some of the guys that you've plugged in or are stepping up in place of the guys who are suspended for this bowl game? Oh, gosh. I mean, we've got uh, a, a bunch of players that are stepping up. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, De Jaden Dedman, EJ Muhammad, uh, Foto Feely stepping in at linebacker, Lawson Hall. Um, you know, we got we got Lucas Weber back out here working, so that's huge for us. You know, and then the guys up front. Uh, we played a lot of D-linemen. This year, it's a big game for Chris Green and Don Peterson, um, Sam Hammond. All those guys are going to get more reps. And so, um, you know, we've played a lot of defensive players, so these guys will just get more of an opportunity. And you mentioned Lucas, and, and what's the update on Jake Nelson? I mean, the guys that are injured, are they going to come back and play? It'll be interesting to see. Uh, Lucas has been practicing. Jake, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it's, it's tough to come back from that injury. He's been out here working, but we'll kind of see. And... You know, we're, we're hopeful that, you know, there's an outside chance that he could play and, you know, there's an outside chance that, that Romeo could play it still. And so we'll just keep plugging and working. Coach, all the defensive guys, is, is Nathan Rourke their biggest assignment? I mean, is that kind of like last year, a good quarterback? Here? Yeah, he's the, he's the leader of their team. He, you know, he's the, 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 the straw that stirs the drink and, and we got to do a great job on him. Uh, you know, he's a big part of their, their running game and he's also a big part of their passing game. So very experienced player. Um, we're going to have to rise to the occasion. I mean, they're not going to give us this game. We got to go win it in all three phases. And uh, that's the challenge. Uh, defensively, we got to do a great job against the run. And then we got to control that quarterback. He's really uh, a good player. And, um, and we've got to do a great job. We got to rise up to the challenge. Coach, you've been fond of saying that you play like you practice. How's your, did you grade the last few practices? We've had great practices. Uh, we're taking advantage of every practice. And, you know, the big thing is you just don't practice. You practice to win. And, and so we're, we're challenging these guys to give us their very best. We've got great energy and effort from our players. And the competition's been great. And I think the way we've, we've been practicing has been good. We've changed it up. Um, we're practicing like a pro team. We're not working scout teams. Defense will go eight, offense will go eight, and I just think it's raised the expectations and the intensity of practice, and uh, we've had great work.
All right, Elijah, practice wrapped up here at the, at the Wolfpack Park. How's it feel finally not to be on the cusp of the bowl game? Uh, it feels great. We, we're all just eager to get out there and play. We want to get to Boise as soon as possible and hurry up and get to Friday. Would antsy be a correct word to use, or how are you I, I, like feeling right now? With so many practices. Gone I through. mean, we just re we are real antsy. It's been almost a full month since we played, and we just want to get back out in Boise or get to Boise and show Ohio what we can do. What uh, what will you guys be be looking for to to accomplish on offense? I mean, every every defense brings a different challenge. What's this challenge? I mean, mainly just keeping their offense off the field for to help our defense out. Uh, they're like you guys have been saying, their quarterback is really good, so we just want to keep their offense off as long as we can. What kind of strides do you think you guys have made from you know when you, this guys or uh, when you guys started practice about a month ago to where you guys are at right now in terms of the full prep? I mean, we've just worked a lot more on executing our plays on offense. I don't know about defense, but on offense, we've been just working play after play and trying to get it like the back of our hand, get it down like the back of our hand. Will, uh, will you guys be looking for? Uh, is a big play important? I mean, does this game have to have a big play on offense? Do you think? I, I honestly think it'll need to have a few big plays for the winner to come out, for us to come out and win. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> So you're obviously one of the, the team's upbeat guys and all that. With with the loss to UNLV and, and some of the news of the last month and all that, has part of your role been to keep everyone up, do you think? Just to be a leader, like coming out here losing all our big time leaders, as you guys know, just coming out here and making sure everybody is ready to practice and we still got a game to play no matter what happens, no matter who we have, we got to come out on January 3rd and play our best game. Bring the coaches coming in. Um, you know, just adjusting to a new coaching style, um, you know, the last coaching style was kind of different than the one we have now, but um, I think we've adjusted pretty well, and we're excited to get out there and you know play for those guys and you know get this win. So, pretty excited. Now, is it a complete overhaul of the defense, or kind of are things staying the same? What what's kind of changing for you guys? Uh, things are much pretty pretty much staying the same for the most part. Uh, you know, tweak some things here and there, but we're pretty much playing the same defense. Uh, can't tell you too much, but you know, he's pretty pretty much the same. Uh, was it kind of different having some new defensive starters in there as well with three guys suspended and obviously you get Gabriel back in the second half? Oh, it's, it's, I mean, it's exciting giving new guys opportunities, young guys, you know, they can show what they can do. Uh, you know, it's kind of it's kind of different, uh, you know, seeing guys who usually don't play on the field, but it's exciting and I'm happy for everyone who gets a chance in this game. Now, do you guys see it as an advantage too that Ohio might not know what you guys are doing at all defensively because of the new coaching I mean, staff? Yeah, that, that could be an advantage. You know, we can surprise them with a couple of things, but you know, it all comes down to playing our responsibilities and you know doing what we have to do to win the game. Because at the end of the day, that's that's all what the game of football is about. You know. And with the, uh, the suspended guys on defense, how much onus do you put on yourselves? One of the guys has been out there more often to really lead this defense into the bowl game. I mean, you know, we gotta of course lead by example and. You know, we got to be more of a vocal leaders, leaders as well, because that's what the younger guys, you know, uh, lean towards. They like uh, vocal leaders and someone to, you know, listen to. So I think it's we have to take a bigger role uh, in our leadership in this game, so everyone can, uh, you know, play well and play their best game. And how nice is it to have Lucas back out there practicing with you guys? Oh, it's amazing. Lucas is a big part of our defense. Uh, he's a great leader, and uh, he just shows us how to get it done day in and day out. So we're excited to have him back and get things rolling with him. Well, it's the second year in a row, your, your bowl opponent has a, a pretty solid quarterback. Is Nathan Rourke the key to what they do, and is that what you guys have been looking at? I mean, yeah, of course, he's a big part of their offense. Uh, but, you know, we played many great quarterbacks this year, and he's just one of them. So, you know, we were prepared for him, how we prepare for any mobile quarterback um, all year. But, yeah, we definitely know he's a big part of their offense, and we we're planning accordingly. Accordingly. Who's the, who's the closest that he comes to to someone you've played? Maybe uh, Josh Love, maybe, or, or someone else? I mean, what mm -hmm. do you think? I would say uh, Josh Love or um, Cole McDonald, Hawaii's quarterback. He's kind of similar to him. Um, but, you know, he's kind of – he's pretty unique. Uh, he can pass the ball. He can run the ball pretty well. So we have to be able to contain him to win this game. You ever uh, think back to being out here, let's say, August 1st or whatever it was when the sun's blazing down and – you know, final practice here. Any any thoughts on that? Uh, yeah, you know, 
it's kind of a different atmosphere from when we first got out here in fall camp. You know, it was really hot. We were complaining about that. Now it's cold, and we're complaining about that. So, uh, you know, we're never going to have ideal practice uh, situations living here in Reno, so we just make the best of it, you know. What are you looking forward to most about this, just the whole bowl experience? Uh, I just look forward to, of course, getting a win, but just creating memories with my teammates. That'll last forever. You know, that's kind of the whole part of playing in a bowl game. Um, and. You know, the preparation has been amazing. We've done a good job adjusting to our situation. And, uh, you know, I just look forward to, you know, getting an opportunity to win this game. Coach Rogel mentioned to you earlier in the year that this opportunity to get back-to-back bowl wins for this program. What would that mean to you guys? Yeah, I mean, we've never done that here at this program. So, you know, that would be amazing uh, to make history doing that. Uh, but we try not to focus, you know, just on winning back-to-back games. It's just winning this game. Like we always said, we have one game to play right now uh, for the rest of the season. So we're just focused on doing that. So, yeah, winning back-to-back games will be historic and a great thing to do.